Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kitty Plays Danganronpa and this is episode 17 and now we've got free time so let's head out of here shall we? Now let's see I'm gonna go back and look wrong button okay gonna go back and look at these did I finish looking at these I can't remember if I did because like we got some new ones and I didn't look at everything I received last time so let's see okay those are not new um, those aren't new golden gun um, oh that thing that we said looked like a turd. It's Prince Shotoku's globe. A spherical representation of Earth about the size of a softball. Some believe it to be an oopart since it depicts around Earth. I think it was Hero that liked ooparts. I think I'm gonna give that to him. Okay, and this is a moon rock and it looks like a turd, but it's a moon rock. A rock taken from the Sea of Tranquility and the moon by the astronauts on Paul 11, its composition is apparently unusual for where it was found. Yeah, well, you know. Oh, oops. I accidentally pressed the enter button. The fun, okay, yeah. Oh, this, did we get this book last time? I think we did. A thick book that has hints and codes for every game. Of, well, I know who would like that. That would be Hifumi, but do I want to talk to him? Not really. So, yeah. Oh, it's a button. I thought it was a coin. I, I could not tell. Okay. Um. I think that was it. That we got. Everything else is like, oh, one of those. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was everything. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go find Hero then because, hello. What was the map button again? Was it? Okay. Wait, no, not that. Okay. Let's see. Where is Hero? No, I don't want to see Hifumi, thanks. Ugh, okay. No one's here. Oh my god, go to the next page. Okay. No one's here either. Could he be in his... Okay. Oh, Kyoko's at the physics lab. Maybe I'll see her late. Okay. He's at the rec room. Oh, wait, no, that was the teleportation! Okay. Like, I ain't gonna walk all the way there and bore you guys to death, so... No, I don't want to go in the physics lab. As much as I want to see Kyoko, I don't think I really have anything she would like. I mean... I know <laughs> what her talent is. I'm not gonna reveal it yet because... Spoilers, but... I don't really have anything she would like, so... I mean, her talent's probably obvious by now, but, like, I ain't gonna tell anyway. Okay, here's the rec room. So, yeah, I'm not gonna spill that, even though I well know what it is, so. Okay. Oh, hi, Celeste, I'm not here for you. No offense. A certain organization is behind all this, I'm finally sure of it! You're finally sure of it? And we've been stuck here for how long? But I can't say their name, because as soon as you do, they come and get rid of you. Kurt Cobain said their name. John Lennon said their name. They're bad. So bad. Really, really bad. Okay, Hero. Should I spend some time with Hero while he's in this kind of mood? I mean, I got that oop art that he likes, so... Well, well then, why don't we have a heated discussion about Cosmo... Cosmogony. Did I say that right? I probably butchered that. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I likely butchered it, but eh. I learned all about Hero's theories on the origin of the universe. Yay. Hero and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hero a present and have this oop art? <laughs> okay. It's here somewhere. It'll take me a while to find it, but it's here. I know that. Okay, I want to make sure I don't pass it. No, I'm not going to give him that. Okay. Huh? You're saying I can have this? 
<laughs> All of a sudden, I feel invigorated. I feel awake. I feel like I like you. Uh, I like you too, hero, but our love should be forbi uh, forbidden for now. Seeing hero so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Well? Hey, Makoto, are you familiar with Kamata? It's a tiny little suburb in... Oh. It's a tiny little suburb in Tokyo, right? Yeah, I've heard of it. What about it? Hmm. Well, don't tell anyone I told you this, but they d they appear there. Huh? What does? Uh, um... Umas. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to laugh. Umas are, I think... <laughs> Uma Thurman. That's hilarious. Um... He doesn't mean UFOs, does he? Cryptids? Yeah, okay. You're talking about cryptids, right? Unidentified mysterious animals. You know? You got it! And it just so happens they've been appearing in little old Kamata. Dots. What kind of cryptids? How about that? The terrifying skyfish. In the West, they're usually just called rods. They can fly, and they have a thin body and a big white fin. They can move their fins in a wave pattern, which lets them move faster than the naked eye can see. Could it be? You ever heard of the Anomo? Anomo? I I have no idea how to say that. I am so sorry. Anomo Curious? I my tongue's getting tied trying to read that. Some people think that's what the skyfish evolved from. And some others think they're an artificial life form, a genetically engineered military super weapon. Uh, Isn't that scary as hell? But what would they be doing in Tokyo and in Kamata, no less? Uh, um, Nobody knows, but I think they're dangerous. You know how close Kamata is to Haneda, ha eh, Haneda Airport, right? I don't want to wait till it's too late. I've been thinking I should call the airlines. Hmm. They need to know there's a way to get rid of those damn skyfish, and I know what it is. As long as they can pay my fee, I can keep things safe for them. That's what I'm going to tell them. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I see a lot of jail time in your future if you do. And I ain't going to bail you out, hero, no matter how much you beg. Plus, isn't that like super occult? I just don't understand. Yeah, and he said the occult is bullcrap. As much as I love Hero, I can't vouch for him. Oh, goody. Okay. I might go spend more coins, see if I can get something that my Kyoko might like. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. I still have some time. I feel like I'm wasting my time sitting around here. I should go look around. Yeah, I'm gonna go spend more coins and see if I can see Kyoko. Woot woot. I don't know why I said woot woot. Don't ask questions, just go along with it. Oh hey. Okay. Sometimes I can just be like extremely random, so whatever. <coughs> okay, so to the shop. Unless I run into a wall, then we're not going to do so great. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is up with Hero, so don't ask. I know he's one of my favorite characters. That does not mean I know what's up in his mind. So, you know. As much as I love him, I, I can't vouch for him a lot. Let's give it a shot. Yay! Not literally a shot, though. Don't don't shoot the machine, Makoto. I keep pressing it. I keep doing the up instead of the down. How many coins do I want to spend? Oh, uh, I'll do five. I don't know how many I'm going to spend. We'll see. Oh! It turned from a ring to the... Okay, I know what, I, I know what item that is. I ain't going to say, but... Yeah. It unlocks... Oh, another button. The item unlocks a special scene that happened earlier. But since I didn't get it in time for that, not like I would have used it anyway. Because I would have passed either way, so... Cat dog. Aw, that look cute. Hey, Kyoko, want a cute magazine with kitties and doggies on it? 
another rose. Well, she's more like a rose. I don't know, but she'd be like Makoto. I'm worth more than a rose. You're so cheesy. I'm kidding. I'll put three. I think Hero would like that. Do I want to spend more time with him, though? I mean, I want to spend time with other characters. I don't want to be too biased this time. But... Well, when I first played, I wasn't too biased, and I spent time with a lot of characters. So... Is that like a perfume or something? It looked like a bottle of cologne, I think. I think I've gotten that before, too. I can't remember. I'll probably go down to like 10 coins and then be done. Because I don't want to keep forever. Oh, watch, okay. I'll do the last seven and then stop there, so. That looks like a ticket to something. Oh, an extra item! Hooray! But that looks like a, some kind of um, travel thingy. I don't know. <laughs> I got another one of those, wow. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath with Hero now. I mean, what? Oh. Sorry, I keep thinking the escape button is the, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go take a look at those. Okay. Doo -doo. Let's see here, what do we have? Okay, none of those are new. Oh, blueberry perfume, okay. Very popular with men these days, but to be honest, although it does attract the ladies, most guys hate the smell. Well, I ain't gonna give that to anyone. Okay. Oh, I was like trying to press the escape button, but it wasn't working. Okay. Oh yeah, this item. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of worthless, maybe. I don't know. Would she like one of these? I mean, she might, but like, she'd be like, Makoto, really? Oh, oops. I, I don't need, okay. Let's see. Chris, oh, yeah, this is definitely, yeah, it's another oop art. I'll save that for Hero. Carved, I think, oh, yeah, I, I've given this to him before. That's right. Okay. I love how it tells me they're oop arts. That means that I'm like, okay, they're definitely for hero, because that, that helps. Let's see. Where? I know I got other stuff. Ancient tour tickets. Think hero would like this too, probably. I think, have I given this to him before too? I really can't remember. I've sp I spent a lot of time with him in school mode. Okay, so. Two tickets that advertise a whirlwind tour of Moo. Of blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Would school mode be considered a spoiler? I don't know. We'll see. I might cut that out. I might not. You might think it has to do with pets, but it's more related to pet. It's a guide for junior high and high school students to help with their um, physical health. Okay. I, I don't know. I thought it was a cute... um. Yeah. As I mentioned. I'm glad I didn't have that. Well, I wouldn't have used it anyway, so. Okay, so I guess I'm going to try giving Kyoko the rose, because I don't know what else to give her. So, let's go find her. Oh my god, map, why aren't you opening? Okay. I mean, options menu, whatever. Okay. No one here. No one here. Ugh, where is everyone? No one here. Good lord. Oh my god, everyone's like invisible or something. Because I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, hello! She was right there! I'm dumb. I'm sorry for being so dumb. Yeah, I teleported there even though it was like right across, but I don't care. I just want to make this easy on me. Okay, so she's in her dorm then, I guess? Let's see. What, what door is hers? Aw, Kyo. Okay, he went nutso. <laughs> he went nutso. I told you I'm random today. Okay, so. I don't. Since Toko was like right there, I don't know if she's really in her dorm. I'll go check her door real quick first. There's a Fumi, no thanks. 
hero! I love you! Tommy! I mean, I'm just kidding. Okay, so I gotta find Kyoko. Celeste, no. I like her, but I don't like her. Does that make sense? Because I don't know. There's the turd. There's Saika. Oh, there's me. And there's Mondo. Rest in peace, Mondo. And there she is. She was right across from Kyo. God, or Taka. God damn it. This is Kyoko's room. I don't have anything I need to talk to her about right now. So I guess she's out here then. Okay. Oh, pff. Wow, she's right there. I'm so dumb. Just a second. She's like, well, Makoto, you just knocked down my door and I wasn't. I'm right here. Could you really have missed me? I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, what's the matter? Why are you bouncing around? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just trying to Im imagine... Makoto bouncing around like a little rabbit and it cracked me up just now. Like, if you, if you remember that one episode of Powerpuff Girls where Bubbles is wearing that old bunny costume and she's hopping on the pogo stick, that's kind of what I imagine Makoto doing right now. So that made it extra funny. So, like, just imagining him in a little bunny costume on a pogo stick. I hope I hope you guys are picturing that now too. You're welcome for that image. Enjoy it while you can. What's the matter? Why are you bouncing around like a little rabbit? <laughs> Don't you have anything to do? Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Yes. Oh my god, why are you not working? Okay. There's no reason to decline and I'm not the type to decline anyway. And I Oh, so cute! Besides, I find myself more and more intrigued by someone like you. Well, I guess you'll like the rose then. I'm thinking. I spent some time with Kyoko. And I feel like I'm cheating on here. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Makoto would probably even not go out with Hiro because reasons. Obvious reasons. So, like, him and Kyoko would be, like, really cute, though. So. And I know a lot of people ship it, I think. I mean, obviously, it's kind of like the ship. So. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Wait, was the whole that pup thing of them being a ship kind of... Yeah. Well, I mean, I see a lot of people ship them. So, like... Okay, where's the rose? Bunny earmuffs. No, I didn't. Did I give that to Celeste? I can't remember who I gave those to. Or was, did I give those to Chihiro? I don't. I don't know. Okay. What? Oh, she liked it. How did you know I was interested in this? <laughs> You're an enigma, Makoto Nagi. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Yay, I'm so glad she really liked it, because I was afraid she'd be like, a rose. <laughs> I'm kidding. Actually, that'd be more Celeste. Celeste would be like, I'm better than a rose. No, she might like it, because it's her, like, aesthetic, kind of, but, like, I said that, like, aesthetic. <laughs> I meant aeste um, aesthetic, but it came out sounding like aesthetic. <laughs> I'm sorry, this episode is just going to be the most random one. Anyways, okay, so. Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Being trapped in a place like this. Who, who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared. Being trapped in this insane school. Correct. Ah, that's good. That's good? So... Fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't feel fear. Whew. Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. She has a point. She really has a point. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. Wrong. I'm scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. You hide, huh? Correct. What I mean is, I'm not as foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open? Listen. Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What do you mean? 
So... You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> I know. She didn't bother answering any further. She just turned and... Goodbye. Goodbye. With that, she was gone. Well, we're still just getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more next time. I don't think I understand her at all yet. Yay. Still no skill. Or, no new skill. Oh, it's fine. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. And I'm assuming it's nighttime, so. Yay. Time to go to sleep. And question everything. Like, question why Hero is so dumb. <coughs> For one thing. Yeah, yeah. To the dining hall will be okay I then. get it. No so midnight snacks. Unless you want to go to the warehouse and get a midnight snack. Which is totally okay, because that's not locked. But Celeste will be like, You're not following my nighttime rule. So yeah. Nighttime already. I guess I'll just go to bed for today. Well, we didn't spend the day not doing anything. So, at least we did productive stuff. Yay! Oh, he's got a new thingy. Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy, I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. I mean, I understand that, so... I guess. You know... Because every new day deserves celebrating, so... Once again, happy new day! Oh good, it was a short one. I like when they're short, no offense. I mean, I like his little theater things, but I don't know. They're just random. So yeah. And the morning announcement, blah blah blah. Good morning, Yeah, everyone. yeah. Get ready to greet... Okay, I will greet it if I could see the damn sky. I better get to the dining hall. Okay. Let's get the show on the road. Run like the wind, Makoto! I'm sorry, I had to. I told you, I'm random this time. Or I, you know, feel random. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. I have no idea about Taka. Damnation! May as well just forget about that guy. So, um... You don't have to get so mad. You know? They're rivals in love, what are you gonna do? <laughs> don't put me on the same level as that. That virgin. I like <laughs> I'm sorry. That's too funny. I like Hatch's virginity. But No, my guess is you're already <laughs> Oh my god. My guess is you're already infected. It's been a while since I played, so I forget a lot of the lines. I think I mentioned this before, but I'm just reminding you guys that it's great playing this game a second time after a while. Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> Stop being vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands approached my food... <laughs> oh good, it's our favorite little serial killer. Huh? That voice? The doors to the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. <laughs> as I said, our favorite serial killer. So in the end... So it's you, Genocide Jack, and... That's enough. Why is he here? How, how did she manage to bring him here? Like... I mean, I understand why Genocide would come to the dining hall, but... but Togami's just always in his own world. Why would he bother? I forget why, but... Eh. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. She followed me, got it? Good. I'll give you a hint. I <laughs> okay, I remember this one, but I almost forgot about it, so. I'm wearing red lingerie today. <laughs> huh? 
Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Hold on a second, you! Huh? Oh my god, stop lagging. Um, have you reached that certain age? No, I haven't. I'm just kidding. What's your top power level? Like 35, 22, 33? You start out big on top to try and look thinner down south. You Look at your melons. They're seriously going a tang. Don't, do you... <laughs> don't go and milk gummy nut or something. You're starting to freak me out. No forgiveness. If you lay a finger on Hina, I will show you no mercy. Ah, <sighs> so what do you want? Surely you are not here to join us for breakfast. Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Oh yeah, because he was out of the blue this whole time. So that makes sense. I almost forgot he was. Oops, my bad. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. Yeah, the surveillance cameras. Why not? Because of certain circumstances. The cameras. Up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. It's all clear now. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. God, he is so... What kind of messed up dictator are you? Well, let's just say if he was president, he'd probably end up like a dictator, so... I'm not comparing him to anybody, I'm just saying Togami is a big fat turd who only cares about himself, so you put two and two together. What? But isn't this a democracy, or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? You don't want to talk! But that's not what we're doing! That's fine. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something seemed off, so I was curious. Indeed. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. I see. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting? Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false com- Camaraderie, vid. I'm sorry. I'm terrible at some of these words, I know. Or you'll reap its bitter reward. What the heck? That's why you came? To give us that amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant your desire and remove myself. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah, let's get out of here. Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. Yep. You don't have to play hard to get master. You can just play hard. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. That doesn't make any sense. Byakya started to slowly back out of the room. He started picking up speed and soon he was sprinting out of the dining hall. That must be fun to watch. He ran away! So now he's running hard to get, I see! Wait, 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 wait! Yeah! Um. This is so at the end there. Oh my god! This thing is lagging, I can't. What was that all about? Uh, um. Just now, Byokyo was like. Um, Maybe he's like the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Hmm. Guess so! Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast then went back to our rooms. Yay. What to do today? Oh goody, more free time. Uh. Well, I could give Hero more oop arts. Why not, right? I'm trying to make this episode like a bit longer this time, so like, I know. Okay. Let's see. I 
I could see Kyoko more. But I don't know what I would give her, though. I... How many roses did I have? Did I have one or two? I don't know. I don't want to give her the same thing. That could get boring. I mean, I know it's the easy way out, but like... You know... Okay. He's back in the rec room, so... Oh my god, I keep running into walls! Okay. I'm okay, I swear. I'm not gonna kill Makoto by continuing to run into walls, I swear. You can't really do that anyway. You can't, like, kill Makoto. So... That's not really a spoiler, by the way, because, like, you can run into walls as many times as you want, and he won't get a concussion! Yay! Okay. Celeste, do you mind? Yo, Yo Makoto, what's happening? Should I hang out with Hiro? I mean, I have this oop, another mm. oop arts for ya, so... Huh? You wanna hang out with me? God, Makoto, I can't believe you picked me out of everyone here, even though I'm kinda dumb. It's not like some occult mystery. Well then, have I got a story for you. My research revealed a surprising connection between Tokyo Tower and the lost Lemurian civilization. Okay, that's good to know. <sighs> Hero spent a lot of time talking about stuff that didn't make any sense to me. But I sat there listening anyway. Hero and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hero a present? Yep. Wow, that that really got him. Come on, such mysterious power. This is a true blue oopart. <laughs> Makoto, the dawn of a new era draws near. <coughs> Sorry, I had to read it like that. Seeing Hero so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Yo. Aww, how cute. But it's forbidden, at least for now. I'm surprised how well you and me get along, <coughs> get along Makoto. Seems like we hang out all the time these days. No reason, I swear. Is that a bad thing? Hmm. Oh no, not at all. And since we're such good friends, can I ask you something? <laughs> Wait, I totally realized something just now. Completely out of nowhere. I feel like I'm about to see a performance of a lifetime. As much as I love Hero having to do his voice so many times. Ugh. No reason why I like talking to Kyoko, because I don't really have to do a voice for her. Okay. Well? Say, Makoto, have you been feeling down in the dumps? No energy, no spark. Huh? You think so? You know? Oh, you don't have to hide it from me. I know what it's like. I've been there. And you know what I'd recommend? Hmm. This. It's a crystal ball. What is it? You know? A crystal ball. No, I couldn't tell. Okay, and hmm. just hold on to it for a second. Here, here. Completely against my will, Hero shoved the crystal ball into my hands. Well? <sighs> what do you think? Nice and cool to the touch. Feels good, doesn't it? That could be totally taken out of context. Maybe. Uh, I feel bad for saying that now. It's okay, I mean... I might cut this out, I'm not sure. Uh, actually, yeah. Hmm. You can feel its power, can't you? Hmm, do I feel it? That? It's the ancient power of our timeless Mother Earth. For serious. You see, that crystal ball has quite the history. It was found in the ruins of Atlantis. It is literally a priceless, priceless one-of-a-kind artifact. This precious item grants enormous power to whoever holds it, bringing prosperity and peace of mind. This very ball has known the touch of Napoleon, George Washington, even Genghis Khan. I think that's probably the single most unbelievably unbelievable thing I've ever heard. Hmm. Well, I'd like to give it to you as a present. In return, I'd like you to come with me to a little seminar when we get out of here. 
And don't worry, I'll see about getting a discount on your entry fee, because that's what friends do. But that's really nice of you and all, but I'm not sure I'm really interested. Sorry, the crystal ball has already acknowledged you as its proper owner. It wants to stay with you. It needs to stay with you. It has given itself to you. And I'm totally not meaning this in another way, Makoto, honestly. <coughs> Cough. But find me when you're rating. <laughs> so now you gotta keep your promise. You don't want to know what that thing does to Oathbreakers. <laughs> okay, I'm counting on you, pal. Refusing to take back the crystal ball, Hiro hurried away. But I could hear him mumbling something to himself, and God, something about finally made my quota. I shake my head. I really hope I heard him wrong. Yay! Thank you, Hiro. I love you. I decided to go back to my room for a while. So what should I give Kyoko? Because I want to spend more time with her. So like... Still some time. Can't just sit around doing nothing. I should find something to do. Okay, hang on. Let's look at these real quick. I mean, I would give her like a snack item, but I don't know. I don't think she would want that. What about the brooch? Oh, that would be more for, like, uh, hero, but, like, I spent enough time with him, I think, so I don't know. I could give her the dandelion. I don't know if she'd like that, though. Hmm. No. That's like kind of hero's thing, so eh. I might try that dandelion, see if that works. If not, eh, whatever. I'll just go with it. You know. Because I don't know. I don't have a lot of coins to spend right now, so I'm just gonna do that. Now to find her. Okay. So she's at the same place before. Oh wait, no. Okay. But she's here, so like, gotta find her. And she'll be like, wow, Makoto, you're so blind. There she is! Okay. Hi, Kyoko. How's it going? Did you need something from me? Should I talk to Kyoko for a while? So... I suppose a change of pace is necessary sometimes. That's fine. Fine then, why don't we take a little break? I spend some time with Kyoko doing nothing in particular. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a, pr her a present? Yes. Let's hope the di uh, dandelion is something she will at least like a little bit. I don't know. This is something you don't see too often. Do you mind if I keep it? <clears throat> I'd like to take a closer look at it. Does that mean she liked it? Yay! Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko? Mm. If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. Hmm? You could certainly make <clears throat> you could certainly make the argument that forming friendships may help prevent killings. So But you're asking for some kind of deep connection? Huh? Because you could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so you can gather information. No, that's not yeah. Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? <clears throat> a test? That's right. 
If you're as gung-ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Uh, oh, okay, so I just have to answer your question, is that it? So then... Are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, yes? <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's just a little dry, so I grab water and everything, so... And? If that's true, what is her ultimate ability? That's an easy one. Hina's ultimate ability, she's training for the Olympics, it's obviously swimming. <clears throat> Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, of course. Correct. Well, asked and answered. It would seem... <clears throat> then you're pleased of Kamamaradip. Yeah, are true. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you can never lie. Everyone would know right away. <sighs> I hate that this thing won't click. I mean, it's not the mouse, it's the game. It's lagging, because my mouse works fine otherwise, so... Again with that foolishly open stuff. So then. Okay then, as promised, what would you like to know about me? Oh, um, let's see. What school did you used to go to before you came here? So... Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it an exchange program, or do your parents work overseas or something? My parents, I suppose. Wow, the question marks. Anyway, okay, so she was living abroad because of her dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? Foreign government? Top secret clearance? More question marks? Okay, so she does... Okay, so he does top secret work for other governments. All I can think of is assassin? Ooh. I kept up my end of the deal. Goodbye. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. She left without even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mystery. And hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Yay. Okay. Look at you go. Okay, bleh. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. And it should be nighttime again, so. Huh? There's something by the door. There is. Oh, what's this? This piece of paper. It looks like someone must have slipped, under, slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. The handwriting is really good, but to want to meet up so suddenly, who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Okay, so I guess I should leave this here and finish up for, or should I go? Eh. I mean, now would be a good place to end it, so like... I don't know. Well, let's just go real quick and get that done. Then we'll end it, so. It's Hero. Oh, Makoto! Hero? From the letter I found in my room. You know? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Mm. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Mm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Actually. I'm just an errand boy on this. Mm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Hmm. <laughs> Huh? You know? Okay, let's do it! N no, I... Uh, um... I was totally lost. He will grab me by the shoulder, pull me close, and whispered into my ear. Serious. It's all an act, so the mastermind won't notice. Everybody's waiting in the bathhouse. I mean, duh. What? Then an alter ego finish his search? Y you got it, hero. Let's go take a dip together. Wink, wink. I was probably louder than I needed to be, but me and hero heard to the dressing room. like that it's just oh my god 
As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. I'm guessing Taka's? F you! How did I know that? Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls! <laughs> yeah, shut up! What? What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> That's mean! Oh my god, don't, don't use that as an insult. Taka, he seems to be even more soft than I heard. He is. Togami, he is. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow personality. What? You got a lot of poop pollen out of that mouth of yours, you know that? Oh my god. Oh, she's back to normal. How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master. Oh. Huh? Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Sh shut up! Hey, well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete! Hey. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have something to do with Alter Ego, right? That's right. Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? Okay, so... It's gone. Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered... Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. What? No way! You're kidding, right? Oh, um... Huh? huh? What? She's... gone? You. you can't be fudge and serious! What'd you do with him? Mm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Wrong. I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just missed it. However... I was in the laundry room, right next door, all day. There's no way I could, wouldn't have heard it. But, if it wasn't the mastermind, then... <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It oh, could have only been him. Right. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. Hmm. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Damnation. I don't know, wait. I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. <laughs> Wrong, it's you. For serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Wrong. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Huh? Why not? So... I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? What? <sighs> it was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. <sighs> but, I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. But... Then who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. <laughs> Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There is a traitor among us. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the Mastermind, a spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. The Mastermind brought someone in to help keep things moving smoothly. 
A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. But there's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? What? I don't care! I don't care! I don't care who! Someone! Anyone! Save her! Please rescue her! I'm begging you! I just want to see your smiling face again! Damn it! Same here! Aww! How many times do they have to kill Bo before they're happy? I'll beg! I'll scrape my head across the ground! Just please give him back! So, um... This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least... I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe, for the moment at least. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they would've, wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else? I mean, I know what, obviously. I'm not gonna say, though. Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing, nothing else matters. <laughs> no matter what it takes. Okay, are you done screaming? No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise as a man. I swear, I will save her! Using the power of love! And there's the nighttime bell. Perfect time to end things, almost. Let's <coughs> have such soon the doors. Okay then. Hmm. It's night time. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <coughs> What good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. <laughs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? She's got a point. Oh my god, click. Okay. I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. <laughs> Poor babies. This is fine. Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. <laughs> And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. Yeah, Makoto, is it you? I'm just kidding. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. I mean, that would be an interesting twist if you find out that the protagonist is the traitor. But I'm just saying that would be a very interesting plot twist. Like, hmm. Yeah, that would be. Anyways, we finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? If that's true... No, it can't be! There's no way! I didn't even realize I'd yelled that out loud. The scary thing is, isn't the idea of someone... The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is... The idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it! I threw myself into bed trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. 
If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Oh yay, another short one. Thanks, Monokuma. Good morning, everyone! It is now get ready to greet- Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first, to the dining hall. Uh oh, okay. I found my- <clears throat> I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to, and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting there for me... Is this it? What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me. Only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything. However. Anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited. Yikes. Um so it's eight o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Mm -hmm. Why haven't the others come? Because I mean Hero and Celeste nev have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Hifumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look at look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive? Yeah, the money. Ten million dollars! I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive! What do you think? It's ten million bucks! Ten million smackaroos! It's like totally wowie wow wow, am I right? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Don't tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Anything can happen here, and you can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. Yeah, I would, like, end it soon, but, like, it's probably gonna be a bit before I actually end it. So let's play a bit more, shall we? I mean, this episode might end up long, but this is a good chapter, so. We can cover more ground if we split up. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Anyway. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. But... I really hope nothing happens. <clears throat> so do I. Well then. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, we never checked the nurse's office, did we? Well, I mean, we never, we never like looked it around in here before. Might as well do that now, I guess. I don't know. Eh. Oh, there's a little fridge here. A refrigerator in the nurse's office? I mean, I know it's in it. They must use it to keep drugs and stuff cold. And a coin. So someone, come here! What? That was Hina! She's supposed to be checking the third floor. There's no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew it was happening. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. M Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's awful. The rec room door was open. A and when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I'd better get the others, right? I I'm gonna go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room? What did she see in there? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking. So without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. The first thing I saw when I got to the rec room was... <gasps> it was Celeste, and she was hurt. Okay, so actually, I'm gonna end this here. So it doesn't get too long, and because I don't want my voice to crack and die. Because it's, you know, getting there so if I keep continuing I don't know I need to stop here and we will continue this in another episode so I, I'm pretty sure this one's quite long as it is so anyways thank you all for watching and we're finally getting to the good part of this chapter like you know we're finally getting this chapter along so I will see you guys in the next episode and I hope you all take care